Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? We're back with another episode of Franchise Mode. We're the San Diego Padres. If you missed the first episode, this is number two. We're the San Diego Padres. I've got a couple of updates for you guys. We're trying to win the World Series still, okay? Probably not this year, but eventually. I've got a couple updates for you guys that watched the first episode. A couple things. One, we went back to the vault. I appreciate you guys letting me know what to do. I went back to the vault. I downloaded a different, um, I don't know, minor league system, basically. And so now Tatis is in the big leagues, all right? We got Tatis back. Um, he's in the big leagues. And uh, we've got a couple other things that we have to go over real quick. Oh, um, I simulated a couple games in the last episode, but we're back to 0-0, okay? Because I had to change the rosters. I had to start over real quick. So we've got that. A few things that we have to do today. I've got a bunch of trades. I appreciate you guys helping me out. I put the trades online. I put them on Instagram, uh, on our anti Baseball Instagram, and I put them on to our YouTube and you guys agreed and disagreed with a couple of the trades. It looks like you like the Walker Bueller trade, and it looks like uh, you like the Flaherty trade. And so I'm going to go through with both of those. You didn't like the Alvarez trade. You made a, you made a couple of really nice points. One, he's more of an AL player than an NL player because I can't DH him, which is very true. Even though he rakes, he's 93 overall in this. Um, but I've been looking through some other trades, and I think I know what I want to do. And I think I'm going to go get Marte to play center field because he's a stud. And he's almost as good of a hitter in this as Alvarez is, but he's a better defender, and he's got more speed, and he's got more versatility, and so I think that's what I'm going to do. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to make a trade. And let's go with the uh, – I wrote them all down right here. So the first trade we want to try to do is Bueller, and I'm going to go through with it, okay? Here's my thought process on these trades. I know I'm going to get rid of some minor league players that are good players. They're solid players. Um, they've got A potentials, but they're really, really young. And my thought is this. I've, I've been through this. I've seen a lot of prospects. I myself was a prospect at one point. I was a number two prospect for the Padres behind Chase Headley. I could never get ahead of Chase Headley, but I was number two at one point. And uh, for a host of reasons, I never panned out. And a lot of these prospects, yeah, they're A potentials and they look like they're going to be great, but they're not all going to pan out. A lot of them are not going to pan out. And my thought is, if I can get Walker Bueller, who I know has already panned out, and I can get Flaherty, who I know has already panned out, like, I am okay to give up some upside because I'm getting studs. Like, Flaherty and Bueller at the top of my rotation or any point in my rotation are... They're going to be, they're potential Cy Young Award winners, I think. So that's why I want to go ahead with the trades, okay? So let's start off here with the Bueller trade. And so we were going to get rid of, who were we going to trade? We're going to trade, uh, let's see, Urias or Urias. I don't know how you say his name. Listen, this guy, A potential, 21 years old, 76 overall. But the guy, I mean, looks like a really nice defender, but he's got absolutely no pop. And I need, I want pop, Okay. Um, I, and, and he's like 5'9", you know, 185. I'm sure he's a great player. I hope he has a really great career. But I'm willing to get rid of him. Uh, who else are we going to get rid of? Cal Quantrill. We're going to get rid of him. Another A potential. Yeah, looks good. Stuff looks really good. Not as good as Bueller's, okay? Um, and then who else? Oh, and we're going to get rid of, uh, how do you say it? Margot, is that how you say it? This guy French? Uh, where'd he go? He's up here, I think, a little bit. I think I probably already passed him. Let's see. Where are you? There you are. Center fielder, A potential, 75 overall, already in the big leagues. Again, looks like a really nice player. But I've got Marte. I've got that trade that I decided to do that I'm going to get Marte. So I've got my center fielder for the next bunch of years. And so we're going to get rid of him, okay? And we're going to go over here to the Dodgers. Where are the Dodgers? Here we go. And I'm going to get Walker Bueller. Now, he's an 88 overall, but I also checked. And uh, he should be a 91, but he's unhappy about his salary, which, you know, coming to the wrong place, coming over to me, because I ain't going to give you probably, – I'm probably not giving you that $2.5 million that you want right now. I'm sorry to tell you, Walker. So you're probably going to stay at an 88. Um, but, man, oh, man, look at these stats. Kid's only 24 years old, throwing 97 miles an hour. shouldn't say stats. Attributes. Right there, okay? He's only making 575. What I really like about this, and this is kind of my plan, is I'm getting all these young players that are really good, but they're, they're not getting paid anything. And next year, I'm eyeing Garrett Cole in next year's free agency class, and I'm going to front load his contract, and I'm going to have a ton of money to 
to give out next year. And I'm going to pay a couple of free agents, big time front loaded contracts, pay them a shit ton in the first year or two. Um, and then it's going to slowly go down. And so it's, I think this is going to blend together nicely. When these guys are up and I need to pay these guys more money, whether it's an arbitration or as a free agent, if I decide to do that or I decide to extend them, I'll be a little, I'll be well balanced to do that. I think. Okay. And so here's the trade. And uh, yeah, we're going to do it. Sounds like a good deal to us. Good. Oh man, you look great in a Padres uniform, Walker. All right. So that's trade number one. Now, trade number two. Uh, we're going out and uh, we're getting Flaherty. Man, I like this trade right here. Uh, so we're giving up Mejia, who's a nice catching prospect. Okay. Very good. 23 years old for Dominican. Looks pretty good. You know what? But so does in Flaherty. So we're going to give him up. We're going to give Kinsler, Kinsler up, which I really like this because now I can dump Kinsler's $4 million contract. He's under contract for two more years at $4 million. And so we're going to be able to dump him because he's not going to play anyway. And and then we've got this, uh, where's France? I don't even know who this guy is. Ty France, 24 years old, C potential, another catcher. I think, no, he's a third baseman. Thought he was a catcher. Okay, sorry, Ty. Um, so we're going to throw Ty in there. And now we're going to go over here and let's go to the Cardinals. Cardinals. Okay, and now we've got another guy. Same contract as Bueller, pretty much. Okay, I think he might have one year less on his contract. But an 88 overall, an A potential. He's satisfied. Seems like a nice guy. All right, his status is I'm an ace. So I'm going to get myself an ace right here. And uh, and I'm not real. I mean, I'm giving up Mejia basically for Flaherty. I'm giving up a guy that has potential, but has got, you know, he hasn't done a whole lot in the big leagues for a guy that has proven that he can do at the big league level. And so we're going to go ahead and do this trade. Oh, wow. My rotation is starting to look pretty. Just imagine what it's going to look like when I pay Garrett Cole $40 billion next year to come pitch for us. Okay. And now the last trade. This is the trade I've been going back and forth with. With I really wanted Alvarez. Just I got a, I got a man crush on him in the playoffs this year and in the World Series. But we're not going to do it. Okay. We're going to go with Marte instead because he is a nice center fielder. I really, really like him. And uh, he's young and he's a little more expensive than the guys that I just got. But he's, he's very, very cheap for his ability. Uh, for his talent level. So, Marte, what did I do here? Okay, so we're giving up Yates, and I know a lot of people are like, you can't give up Yates, don't give up Yates, he's so good. First of all, we're not going to win the World Series this year, okay? I know we're not winning it this year. Next year, we might win it, um, but we're looking down the road, and he's 32 years old. I'm not going to probably sign him in 2021. I'm not going to extend them at a 34-year-old, and... Um, and it might just be me. I know he's a, a shutdown. I mean, he's a great, great closer, I just feel like we can we can maneuver the bullpen around, and I can sign a couple of guys to uh, to help there. And like I said, we're not winning the World Series this year, okay? So we're gonna throw Yates in there because really I can't do this deal without him. And then we're gonna trade. We're gonna give up uh, one of our young young pitching prospects right here, 20 years old. I mean, this guy could end up being an absolute stud. There's no doubt about it. 69 overall, 20 years old, and a lefty. Man, I don't like giving him up, but if you want to get a stud center fielder, which we need, we need a stud center fielder, um, I'm going to do it, okay? So what do we got here? So we're going to throw him in the deal. And then who else did I have to throw in? I had to throw in one more guy. I think to get this done, I had to throw in this guy down here. Where is he? This guy right here, Terso. All right, so he's a C potential. So we're just going to throw him in the deal. And now... We're going to go to the Diamondbacks, and we're going to get their stud. 25 years old, A potential, 92 overall. Look at this guy. This guy can hit righties or lefties. He's got power, great vision, not the best discipline. Who cares? Um, decent speed. I really like this guy, okay? Not only that, the guy can play center field, second base, shortstop, left field, and right field. He plays every position on the field, okay? Ooh, I like this guy, okay? And his contract, he signed till. 2023, and it's not its not a lot of money. Even in 2023, it's $6 million. That's nothing for a guy that can do what he can do, okay? So we're going to do that, and we're going to offer this trade. Beautiful. So guys, I know that we just kind of 
uh, I basically like dombrowski the Padres right there, and I just like got rid of all my prospects. But these guys are studs that we got back, okay? So now let's go. Let's make sure it's recording first, okay? I got a new phone today. Looks like it's recording. I just got a new phone. Yeah, it's recording. So I got the iPhone 11 Pro Max or something like that. I got the one, the 512 gig, the huge one, so that I never run out of space when I'm recording anymore, okay? Um, okay, so let's see. First, let's do the pitching rotation. So our number one pitcher, you're going to go down. What the, what I just do? I don't know what I just did. Okay. Uh, you're going to be, let's put you at the five for a second. I can't do that. Okay. Oh, it just keeps moving them up. Okay. So, Chris, you're no longer the number one. Walker Bueller is, okay? Um, we can make, uh, I guess we can make you the number two. We'll make uh, Flaherty the number three. And then um, I would like Garrett Richards as the four. And then we'll go with uh, Joey. How do you say Joey's last name? Lucchese? Lucchesi? I don't know. Anyways, he's going to be the five. Okay. I think that's what I like right now for my starting pitchers. Let me know what you guys think about that. But that's what we're going to start off with. Okay. And next year when I get Garrett Cole and I put him up here. Oh, baby. Okay. I like that. Now, let's go to our roster. Dodgers have finalized it. Good. Cardinals have finalized it. Beautiful. Great news. Diamondbacks have finalized it. Okay, fellas. Now, we're going to need a closer. I've already got that figured out. Um, all right, so our starting catcher at this point is going to be Austin Hedges, which for now is fine. If you guys can find me a better catcher, someone you like a little bit more, let me know. Um, I'm making sure I'm in the camera here. All right, Hosmer's at first, and Hosmer's probably not going to be with, with us for a whole long time. I mean, his contract is outrageous. I know it's really front-loaded here, and it's going to get better, but I'll probably be getting rid of him at some point, maybe give Naylor a shot. Second base, we need to sign a free agent second baseman. I'm thinking Scooter Jeanette right now. He's a decent little second baseman. Manny Machado is going to be over at third. We got Tatis at shortstop. In left field, we're going to have Renfro. And then I'm thinking maybe let Cordero hit. Because Renfro, Renfro really struggles against righties. Like he has a 48 contact against righties. I know his power is good against righties. But, well, I mean, I guess it's not that much better with Cordero. So not sure I even want to do that. Yeah, then I'm sacrificing tons of power. Forget it, Frankie. You're on the bench. All right, we got Martel. I'm uh, Martel. We got Marte in center. Um... And I still got a stud right here who I can drive. I mean, I still got trade chips, guys. And then Will Myers will start him in right. All right. So what I need to do right now is um, what do we need? We need a closer, right? Yes, we need a closer. And we need a second baseman, okay? So let's go to free agency real quick. And uh, I'm guessing... You know, the only closers available, Jim Johnson. Man, I played with Jim Johnson a while ago. He was a stud the year I played with him. Um, okay, guys, I know you guys were all flipping out about Vasquez. Like, his overall has been changed to a four in this this edition. That's what happens when you go to jail, I guess. So, um, yeah, he's not very good overall. I know everyone got mad at me. I actually kind of forgot who he was at first. And then when you guys reminded me, I know you guys were mad. I still was might maybe going to sign him and then just trade him and use him as like, you know, to get some more prospects. But we'll stay away from him, okay? He's a bad guy. So let's sign uh, Jeremy as our closer. Oh, oh, man, I'm always... I love guys that throw hard. I know he does too, right? Yeah, 96. Um, okay, let's sign him to be our closer. Roll. You're going to be happy? Let's see if that does anything. I'm going to sign to a one-year deal. What do you want? $2.4 million? Um, if I make you a closer, does that make you happier? A little bit happier. Ooh, he's happy. Um, yeah, I'm going to make you my closer, okay? And if, if I decide not to do that and you get pissed, then I'll ship you out of here. All right, this is... I'm, I'm the Bill Belichick of, uh, of baseball GMs, all right? Do your job, shut up, and if, if you don't, then I'm, I'm giving you the boot. Um, okay, make the offer. Payout structure normal, yeah, blah, blah, blah. 
Done deal. Thank you. Okay. And now we need a second baseman. And I like Scooter. Okay. We're going to sign him to a one-year deal. Two, 2.9 million. Beautiful. You're going to be an everyday player. No option. Platoon. No. You're not going to be a star. Everyday player. I'll keep him happy. He wants a 2.9. Do I make him really happy? 3.2? No. We'll just give him what he's looking for. Ideal. Okay. Excuse me? Add a few more years? I don't think so. How about I give you 3 million? Add a few more years? Up yours. How about 3.1? I'd like a long... A longer contract. Go screw yourself. How about 3.2? A longer contract. How about 3.3? This is not going well. Okay? I really don't want to offer you a longer contract. How about 3.5? Wow, this guy's a jerk. Scooter, buddy. Okay. Wait a minute. All right, so if I want to give him... How much money do you want? Two years at 9.2? Oh, I don't like this. I mean, I guess I have money right now. I need the second baseman. Should I just let a young guy play? That doesn't hurt. You know what? I'll let him play. I'll do a two-year deal. Okay, we'll front load it. 9.2 million. You know what? You really pissed me off. I'm going to lowball you. I'm going to lowball you right here. You want to play baseball? You want to sit and be a free agent? Increase the salary. Golly, you're a tough negotiator. Apparently, I'm a pansy because I'm going to do whatever you say. 9.2. Now you think you're more than... Scooter. Scooter, you're pissing me off. Let's see who else is out there on the market. Okay, Scooter? You really pissed me off. Josh Harrison. What do you want to sign for, Josh? Whoa, five years, 22 million, Josh. You've been drinking. We're not. I'm not giving you that. Okay. Let's see who else we have here. Jose Reyes. I always liked Jose. He's a little old now. Ooh, Jose's skills have diminished. Um, Brandon Phillips. I like. Ooh, Brandon. Pretty good hitter, Brandon. What do you want to sign for? Now, Brandon, you're talking my language right now, buddy. You know, Scooter's a better player. Defense, 66. Yeah, Brandon's defense isn't great. We're not trying to win, though. Brandon, you're my guy. Okay, I'm going to give you a one-year deal. 2.7. There you go, Brandon. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. Roster. So now, what do we need? Are we good everywhere? It says we don't have a closer, but I made him my closer, so I think we're okay there. I think we're good. Oh, we only have 21 active players in the big league roster. 25, and then we have too many at double A. Hmm. The first thing is, let's see real quick. I mean, I have a couple guys, I think, at the big leagues that are young and that aren't going to play. Like, let's see. How old is this guy? He's 24, he's a B potential, and he's never going to play. I want to send this guy down to double A. Any other guys in the big leagues? Up? No, down here? No. None of these guys in the big leagues. Okay. Well, the first thing is, there's too many guys in double A, so let me find a really crappy double A player way down here. What's this guy? He's a B potential. Here's a C potential. Yeah, okay, you're getting released. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, I'll pay it, whatever. It's $60,000. Okay, so now we're good. Now we just need some more MLB players. And I'm not going to call up any of the young guys right now. Where could we use more guys, though? We've got starting pitching. We've got relief pitching. It says we don't have a closer. So at six, so I only have, I only have 12 pitchers on the staff. I have a second baseman. Why it's saying I don't have a second baseman? I have a second baseman. Let's go to my lineup again. Okay, guys. So I figured it out. Uh, I had to get Phillips. Phillips was in Double A. They weren't on the forty man. Neither was uh, Jeffries. How do you say his name? Jeffries. Jeffries. Um, but now we've got him on here. And so this is the lineup that I just did. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what I have to move around. So 
Right-handed pitcher versus righty with the DH. We got Marte leading off and then Tatis Machado. Hosmer, Renfro, Myers, Hedges, Cordero. Uh, I'm going to figure out a way to... I, I, he's probably not going to DH, okay? Uh, then again, in the first year, I don't really know if we're trying to win anyway, so maybe he will. And then Phillips. All right, then we got versus righties with no DH. Same type of thing. Then we've got versus lefty. Uh, what changes did I make? So Renfro hits lefties pretty good. Uh, Hosmer doesn't. Moved him down. And then Phillips is up here. And then versus lefty with no DH. This is what it looks like. So obviously I'm ecstatic about the top three in our lineup. Now Renfro, he's got a lot of power, but he struggles with contact, especially against right-handed hitters. So he's probably going to be a guy down the road that only plays against lefties. Probably not going to play against righties for right now. He can um, Hosmer's going to be out of here soon, and that's what we got. All right. So, then the pitching rotation, we've already looked at that, and then the bullpen, I've got, uh, I got to figure out how to say Jeffries, Jeffries' last name, but he's closing. I think I remember him. Was he a Brewers draft pick? I feel like he was a Brewers draft pick that threw like 100 out of high school. I'm pretty sure that he was. How old is he? 31? Yeah, so he, I think that was him. He was a little bit younger than I am. Anyway, so the bullpen still needs a lot of work, but we're not going to work on it just yet. What I'd like you guys to do, we're going to start playing right now. What I'd like you guys to do is if you have any suggestions, put in the comment section below what we need to do next. If you've got some guys that you like, remember, just keep in mind the overall goal is not to try to win the World Series this year. It's try to put ourselves in a good position. So I want like young guys on low contracts. I don't want mega contract guys right now. Okay. Um, let's see. I think we're good to go. I think we're going to open up the season with Walker Bueller versus Madison Bumgarner. Um, let's try to play and let's see what happens. Oh yeah. These are all the deals we made. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Play full game. Let's, let's player lock the first game, huh? Let's player lock on, uh, let's go on Tatis for the first game. Let's do that. Yeah. Now, we're not going to player lock a lot. We're going to sim a decent amount. Hey, Yaz, what's going on? So, Yaz went to my high school, St. John's Prep. Congratulations to him on an unbelievable year. We'd like to get Yaz on the channel. I'd like to I'd like to uh, interview him. So, let, put it out in the comment section below if you'd like. Yaz lives locally. He lives only like probably 20 minutes from my house, maybe not even. So, I want to try to get him on here, see if he can answer some of our questions. Opening day here. So we're going to play opening day and then we'll sim for a little bit and we'll jump in every now and then to see how the team's doing. Beautiful ballpark. When I played there, it wasn't a hitter's ballpark. Still don't think it is, but they did move the fences in since I left. Kyle Saul obviously doesn't run the Padres because he would like to move the fences out Hello another 100 again, feet. Baseball is back. Never hit a home run here, though. Only home run I ever hit was in Colorado. Okay, beautiful Network. ballpark. We see it. My, I lived right uh, over the, let's see here, down the line a little bit over that, like right over there. That's where I just like live while I was here. Like I, I, I can cross the street and I'm at the ballpark. It's awesome. All right. Hey, Bruce. So Bruce Bochy was when I... I was drafted by the Padres. He was the manager of the Padres. So I came in and uh, wow, they got Yaz hitting fourth and Sandoval hitting fifth. So I got to, uh, I got to come in and work out after I got drafted. I threw out the first pitch opening day, uh, not opening day, throw out the sermon on the first pitch at the first game I went to. And um, got to shake Bruce Bochy's hand, talk to him for a few minutes. The guy was absolutely humongous. I have really big hands. I shook that guy's hand and I was like, oh my God, please don't eat me. He was huge. He was like, how are you doing, Matt? He had a deep, deep voice. And they just a giant guy. Great one. manager. Fire it down there. Guys, let's, take a look at how to let's go. Let's look at this defense. Guys, the person I, want to focus on is I mean, Cosby. am I GM of the year or what? This team already looks a thousand times better. But don't get it twisted. This is a gold glove. Don't get it twisted. That makes the game look easy on let's go. All right. Cutter, two seam, curveball, change. I'm so used to playing in the minor leagues. Like, this just feel, this feels really cool right now, being a big league field again. Get down, ball. Oh, yes. Move up, move up. Got a baby. Way to start off the year. First major league hit. 
Fernando Tatis Jr. Batting just four. collected his first no left hit in the big league. I got first and third. Guys, I'm so used to just stealing all the time, but I can't do that now. We got to play this for real. Yeah, good for him. And come on, D, come on. Break it up. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. Damn, they turn a double play. All right, one for one. What do we got here? We're down to nothing. Okay, nobody on. Tatis Jr. First pitch on its way. Oh my God! Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Ball shipping Two out, nobody on. Hit high. Uh, it's a little down. Chasing after it is. Wow, some wowzers, Tatis. You got popped. Three up, three nice running catch right there. Okay, now Brandon Belt. Brandon Belt. Oh, we got still down to now. We're playing the shift. Wow, I feel Brandon really weird with a lefty the up, and I'm playing over here. But I didn't play much short shortstop. Shortstop, my life. Come on. That away, Walker. So we're getting great pitching right now. Clearly, we still need help offensively. In now. Still two nothings. Junior, for the Padres. Not shortstop. Number twenty-three. Things not looking very good so far. Get on the line. Yes. Get on two. No, 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 no. That goes for two there. Not you, Fernando. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one. A little bit of roll over, but. And that's just another base hit in a long line of many. Come on, Manny. Third base, but number thirteen. Guys, I'm not going to steal with Tatis, so I'm just going to. Shot Try not to get picked off, and then I'm probably going to sim. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Lifetime number. Actually, I got to change my base running also, because um, I don't need to see every pitch now, because I'm definitely not going to steal a lot. Yeah, we'll we'll, um, we'll fix that after this game. Okay, got it. There we go. Let's. Um, how do I? I don't want to quick manage. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh boy, I don't know how to do this. What are we doing? Back! Back! No! I don't want to do that either. Okay, guys. I guess I'm just going to have to run the bases. I'm not used to this mode. I've never done this mode before. Three and oh now. Oh boy, am I gonna have to sit here and just watch every single pitch? Three and oh, you can bet he has the green light on this pitch. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Yeah, I'm giving Manny the green light three and oh, especially two nothing game. He can tie with one swing of the bat. Find the ball. Find the ball. And that run found it. Single to right. That away, Manny. There are two aboard now. Yeah, and that back-to-back -back base knocks right off the bat here. As we take a look at the numbers. How do I just go player lock? I am player lock, but I, I just... I want to fast forward to, like, my next... Here we go. Base running interface, uh, player lock, opportunities, lead runner, action pitches. That's what I want. Action pitches. Beautiful, guys. You so see, they are bad, 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 but he's definitely got into Hunter. a jam here. We'll All right, right nobody out. We're going to bunt here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. No, we're not bunting. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. All right, I did action well, pitches, but it seems like it's going to still. Oh, back, back, back like Fernando. Got a great opportunity it's a big lead. You cannot get picked off. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. The 1-0 is swung on and missed. Strike one. Tatis. Come on, Hunter. Machado. Please get ahead. I don't want to run the bases anymore. No, get get back a little bit, please. And he throws a cutter right by him to take control one and two. It's a great opportunity for me to scout my team as a GM while playing for Tatis. Renfro's already 0 for 2. The one two. Oh my god, he missed that ball by seven feet. It's been a really rough okay, day for sim this to the next really opportunity. No way to say it. 
Not a lot of good okay, good. There we go. Okay, we got one out. It's just We're on the ground, we got to go. We're halfway in the air. Oh, fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time Guys, we strike out way too much. On strikes. The first baseman, Eric oh, Hosmer, is in. We'll see if he can get a clutch spot here. Two Eric. on, two out here in inning number six. Hosmer. Yeah, and this is the guy for me. I, I, I think this is the guy in the clubhouse that the guys truly stand grab. Up, what? Hosmer. We're saying stand up. Glenn's telling me to slide. So no and Hosmer's two bunting no with two, two strikes. Do I have to? Who's the manager? Andy Green is that his name? Do I have to talk with him? And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. Ready with the first pitch. I'm paying Hosmer twenty-five million dollars a year to bunt with the runner in scoring position and two outs. What are we doing? Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. The big leagues. It's not a strike. Well, we don't see that very often out of a rookie. Oh, it was a ball. A good call. And both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Jeez, Three and to I've already lost my mind. All right, down by two. 3-0. -oh. Automatic take. I'm a team player. Automatic take. And this misses here good at bat. Four. Just the second walk he's issued here. Everybody on this team wants me to hit for them. Player lock for me, Matt. Player lock for me. Now Sorry, guys. They can only do one at a time. And Tatis is my favorite player right now. All right, we got two up. We got two outs. Run! Read the ball. Digging in now. Wow, seven to two. How many outs? One out. Alex. I'm holding them on here. Dickerson. First and second. Got to turn two. Two. Ground ball. The second. This could be two. There's one. Out. Nice turn. Pablo, you dropped your helmet. So hey, no Tony Glenn, Mr. Padre. No error. All right, I'm gonna get one more at bat here. Next seven to two. Junior. Number twenty-three. Bottom of the ninth. One out. Who's pitching? I don't know who's pitching. First delivery to him on the way. No, it's off. Like he was swinging no matter what that time as he goes way out of the zone of that offering. Me. It's 0-1. Okay, he's got a sinker. He likes his change. That was a good change up. No, Fernando. Got a battle now. Swing and I dodge a major bullet that time. Slider 85 got me. Yeah, and they know this is going Congrats, to be a Bruce. tough stretch on the road to win the first game of a series. All right, so we lost the first one. Feel pretty good. Something to build Our on for tomorrow. To Seven to Walker two, pitched okay. The Victoria Giants. The Giants Seven took runs. the lead. Uh, okay, so. Hey, we got 11 hits. Not terrible. So what I'm going to do here, let's um, let's sim a couple games. What are we, one and two? Ooh, two and two. Arizona is 0 and 4. We'll, we'll sim through. Uh... No, no. Oh, my God. Almost sim the whole season. Got really scared right there, guys. The show, baseball is back. All right, so we're three and four. Cardinals are uh, three and three. We're going to St. Louis. Let's see uh, how the guys are hitting so far. I know it's really early in the season. Marte, 208. He's got two homers already. Tatis, 250. Machado, 375. What a dinger. Hosmer, 200. Renfro, 091, you'll be out of town soon. Uh, Myers, 087, you'll be out of town soon too. Hey, Hedges, 333, I like it. 357 and uh, 267, not bad there. Let's see how the pitching staff is doing through the first week of the season. Yep, Walker, that's what I'm paying you for. I'm not really paying you anything, but Paddock, 476. Eh? One, oh, that a baby. Man, oh, 12 strikeouts in six innings, Jack? You're an animal. Uh, Garrett, not so good. It's okay. And Joey. Okay, decent. Let's see what uh, Jeremy's doing. 
Okay, has one up a run in two innings. Good, beautiful. Anyone just doing absolutely horrid? Yeah, Jose, doing horrid. It's okay. I'm very lenient early in the season. It's okay, guys. Just if you don't figure it out soon, you'll be out of here. But first week, it's okay. All right, so let me know, let me, uh, know guys, what I need to do, any trades I need to make, any suggestions you have in the comment section below. Next game, we'll player lock on someone else. And uh, if you have any other suggestions for the series, let me know. Road to the show video coming soon.